Hello, and welcome to Cam Look, coming to you from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member or volunteer shares an object from the permanent collection and poses some questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for something new to see and discuss. I'm Julie, a docent at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And normally, I'd be walking around the galleries with you as we talk about art, but until we can do that again, I'd like to share a sculpture that has always resonated with me. The first time I saw this sculpture at the Cincinnati Art Museum, I found myself still pondering it a week later. It's a life-size cast glass sculpture created in 2005 by contemporary American artist Karen Lamont. It's titled Seated Dress with Impression of Drapery. It's displayed in a gallery underneath a large window where the changing weather adds an atmospheric mood. I've seen the sculpture against a snowy background, cloudy days, and my favorite, bright sunshine, which makes it glow from within. Interestingly, the artist said just last year when speaking about some new work, I'm obsessed with clouds. They fill the sky with transition, becoming, being, not being, repeat. Lamont devised a unique method for creating glass sculptures like this. If you look carefully, you can see that the sculpture has two surfaces, an inside as well as an outside. You can see where the woman's legs were and how the clothing has conformed to the body that is no longer present. What happened to the woman? Is she still here in some ways? Sometimes I think of this sculpture as if it were made of ice, which adds to the idea of transience. It's a fleeting moment frozen in time. The woman's body was relaxed, as we can see by the slumped posture and the legs splayed widely. Yet her feet are solidly grounded. In her right hand, she held tight to some fabric and has let it go. I have always found solace in that letting go, especially during this time of such profound loss. I used to think it was kind of bittersweet, but now I can see it in another way, as renewal, as shedding the old self so the new self can emerge. This is going to sound kind of weird, but my thought on that was inspired by finding an empty shell left behind by a cicada that had transformed itself into its new phase. One final thought to leave with you. Let's go back to something I talked about earlier. Have you ever been so captivated by something you encountered that you were still mulling it over like days later? Why did it have that effect on you? Hope to see you in the gallery soon where there's much more to capture your imagination.